We're back at the cliff. I'm gonna make a tough. T oh, I can't skip it. Max, Max, can you hear me? But anyways, say last time I decided to save I, Chloe and destroy Arcadia Bay. Oh, now we're gonna go down the Don't sacrifice Chloe, do again, okay? and save Arcadia I Bay swear. route. But that nightmare so if you're so real. You know, was familiar so with this dialogue, horrible. you can probably just skip ahead. Just gonna let it play through. Can't skip though. See, I, I, it just seems so this silly to make it a zero sum choice. Is the only thing I, I have this. kind of against it. I caused all it's of like, this. oh, you will sacrifice Chloe, you will sacrifice Arcadia Bay. So much it seemed like I could still go back and just go kind of a different route. Everything. All I really and I'm still not sold that the, the storm's my fault. Because the storm was happening long before anything I thought. But Fuck all I could that. be wrong. Okay, you were given a power, you didn't ask for it. And you saved me, which had to happen. All of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. So I'll just, your power, we put like I said, let her. this play through until okay, we get to so the decision. Okay, so you're not the goddamn time master, but you're Maxine Caulfield, and you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My step... Father deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once. I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Sorry, Chloe, but the needs of the many out need, out, outweigh the needs of the few. Max. It's time. Chloe. Or we could I'm just so, literally so go back and then still hit the I, fire alarm. I don't want to do this. And then it would just be like time. Loop. I know, Max. For but sure. we have to. We have to save everybody. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week. It was the best farewell gift. I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm an everyday hero. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll always love you. Now get out of here, please. 
do it before I freak. But Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never. Be weird if it changed and something if it went down differently, or they just never even came in. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. What the? Why is there a Don't guy? You own oh, this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Well, that would actually be interesting if she didn't die. Like, it's just a flesh wound or something like that. Yeah, but it doesn't look great. It's only been a few seconds and she's kind of bleeding quite a bit. So I walk through to the haze and a million dirty ways. So in reality, Mr. Jefferson hasn't killed anyone and Nathan's killed two people, right? In this timeline? Wait, no, that, that isn't reality? Because that disappeared? Wait, what? But that... Okay, weird. So does Nathan take the fall for everything? That's still got Jefferson. Stuff with the teddy bear. And the choice is still nice to me. And I got my pictures, yeah. And a dress. some ashes maybe yeah so I, I guess the storm was possibly my fault then I think it would be satisfying if there was like a little ending where like you have to like Oh, just go and leave. And then, like, oh, a car splashes on you, and you're just like, you can do nothing, or you can rewind it to be like, okay, I will have a life of rewind still, anyways. That's, that's really cool. That little necklace.
That's a really nice cemetery. like a bunch of open ground and maybe a mausoleum. It's like trees and bushes and stuff. Well, that really sucks for a mom, actually. <laughs> it's like everyone fucking dies. So I gotta say that ending is way better. You know, the other ending felt a little BS. That one, like, felt like it was when it was just like, oh, we're just gonna kind of drive off, you know. <laughs> so uh, that is the definite end. End unless they somehow come up with some sort of sequel. But I think it's pretty much unless there's a pre prequel thing. But so that's life is strange for you. So catch y'all in the next game. <laughs>